Hello everyone. Right now I will start the step 10, proxy server Squid. Squid is the name of the proxy server, and uh, Squid is a kind of the web proxy cache. Normally, Squid has the, these uh, three kinds of purpose. First, speeding delivery of content, tracking what site people are visiting, and limiting the site people are visiting. So, Skid is a proxy server and sometimes this one is the limited site. For example, like a gambling site or porno site. In this case, using Skid, you can limit this kind of site. Also, Skid support the caching of some service like FTP, HTTP, or mail server like this. And Skid also include the advanced features, including access control list. Using this kind of access control list, some network can access this the proxy server, or some network cannot access this proxy server like this. Also, using the Skid, you can X-write the HTTP server also. Okay, here proxy server skid configurations okay first installation and the startup just if uh, i need install only one package skid like this and after that conf main configuration file here you can find this file etc skid slash skid.conf skid.conf file ha has the so many lines so here even if there are so many lines you don't need to configure all lines just here uh, first, HTTP port. So here, normally Skid will use the port number 3128. And the cache memory, default is the 8 megabyte. If you need, you can increase like a 10 megabyte or 15 megabyte like this. If the Skid cache the contents from web server, normally try to save this one so normally this directory var slash spur skid and this number 116 256 100 means the size of the cache directory in my case the default is the 100 megabyte and the 16 the number of main directory so in this directory var spur skid below this directory maybe there will be 16 main directory 256 this is a number of subdirectory so each main directory will have the 256 subdirectory like this and after that you need to configure acl acl means the access control so here acl or slc so mean the all the network can access or here this is a kind of exam first the localhost the localhost will be one uh, 27.001 and here I add one more ACL the name will be example and this example name will point 192.168.80 network so only local host and this network uh, has the ACL and using this ACL you can uh, you can decide allow or deny like this. For example, HTTP and double access allow localhost here. Localhost 127001 will be allowed to access this skid server. And example also, example also will be allowed to access this, the proxy server skid. And except this one, the other network will be denied. This is the access control. So after you configure like this, you need to start like this service skid start and after you need to check process and port number. Normally proxy server skid will use port number 3128 and after that if we need the register to run the bell, you can use like this. And after testing, after you configure all this kind of lines from the skid configuration file then you need to test using firefox so open firefox and after that you can edit 
preference advanced network setting network setting here you can the set the host name and port number like this okay then let's test okay here uh, first let's just check uh, package first squid In my case, I don't have, so I uh, will install skid. Okay, only one package. Okay, I'm successful here. Let's check again. Grab skid. Okay, then etc skid. Here, let's open skid conf. Okay, skid conf has so many lines. So here, let's check HTTP fault, cache memory, cache DIR, ACL, like this. Okay, let first check the HTTP port. Okay, line number 921 here. Normally, skid used port number 3128, like this. This is a default port. And after that, let's check the cache. Okay, cache here, cache, cache memory. So here, default is uh, so we make case nine meg eight megabyte. I will increase ten megabyte. Okay, then. Cache DIR Okay, uh, cache DIR Where is okay here? Okay, here In my case now here, this is a default Cache DIR, UFS, VAR, spool, skid, and near 100, the size of the, this directory, and the 16, the number of the main directory, and the 256, the number of the subdirectory for each main directory. Okay, this is the default. Now let's go to the ACL. Okay, ACL. Okay, local host. Okay, here uh, line number 574. Here is the default ACL, and after that, here local host. Okay, in my case, I will add here uh, yy faced, and after that, name will be in my case main. It's uh, example and the source address will be in my case 192.168.80.0 and uh, the mask will be 0. Okay. And after that, ACL, I made two ACL here, localhost and example. Okay, then. Uh, HTTP access here allow in my case now HTTP access 
manager local host so here let's add uh, allow local host okay, here one more thing yy faced and allow example example key and deny all except this one the others will be denied okay then I finish this kind of things okay now service start up and port number checking okay here service skid start and of that process checking grab skid okay I'm successful and of that port number NAT grab uh, 3128 okay now 3100 port 128 port is open so now it's okay to service okay now and after that the uh, run level registration after that let's test okay here uh, service machine, service HT also restart. And at that, open the Firefox. Okay, here, edit preference, advanced setting here, manual flags, local host, and port number 3001. 128 okay close and then let's try to visit google.com okay now or youtube.com Okay, now it's okay to access the servers. Okay, and after that, let's check one more. The directories, var spool uh, uh, skid. Okay, here. Now this is uh, main directories, and after that, let's check the zero zero. Here there are 256 subdirectories, and at that let you check the data. Okay, I'm stay here. So here, this kind of data is saved here as a cache, and after that string uh, okay here again find this kind of the data. So this kind of data is normally file is a kind of database file. So in this case, I cannot read using cat, just need strings like this. Okay, one more. Okay, here are about nine. Okay, also here the this kind of data is saved as a cache. But here, service skid stop. Okay, skid is a star. Okay, let's test again. www.google.com. So in this case, the process server is now the start. So the users cannot access the internet like this. 
Okay, this is a testing of the proxy server. Okay, so far I made the four videos for web server setup set up using Apache. So I hope that these kind of videos will be helpful to understand the web server Apache. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.